Hi everybody, welcome back. Now, you would have noticed on my channel, long-term subscribers would have noticed that I review brand new caravans every now and again, and this year has been no different. Been reviewing the 2020 offerings from Bailey, from Luna, and just recently a dealer special from Swift. Now that's all very well if you're in the mood for a brand new caravan, but for a lot of people, they're not. Maybe you can't afford one. Maybe you're brand new to caravanning and a brand new caravan is really not really the right way to go. Or maybe you just don't like buying a brand new caravan, but instead will spend a little bit less money, but get just a good caravan. So I thought in the next few videos, we'll look at some secondhand pre-loved used caravans that are available from a dealership like this one. And we're gonna set ourselves three price breaks. We're gonna see if we can get a caravan for under five grand a family van for under 10 grand and a large family van for under 15. And today we're going to be looking at under 5,000 pounds. Now, once we've gone through all three price breaks, I'm going to follow up with a video of why you should buy from a dealership or why you should buy privately and the pros and cons, because believe me, no matter which way you go, there are pros and cons to each one of those. And then also follow up that with an 11 point list of things to look for when buying a used caravan. So, Let's have a look around and see if we can find ourselves a caravan for under £5,000. That one's too much. That one's way too much. But this one here I have found way under my budget. I've got here a 2002 Abbey Impression 470. It's a two berth caravan. It's MTPLM and it's 1,350 kilograms. And it's on sale right now for 3,900 and 95 pounds. Well, let's start at the front and work our way back. Start with the hitch. What have we got here? We've got ourselves an Alco stabilizer hitch. We've got dual seven pin electrics here. So if you've got a new car or if you've got a new tow bar, you'll need to get an adapter for that. That all looks fairly tidy. Let's have a look, see if we've got any, any history for servicing. So we've got approved service stickers here, 2016. There's one there for 2014 and there's one on the window there for 2005. So sporadic service history, but it does look like 2016 was the last service. I think we'd ask for a service to be completed on this one anyway. But looking at the windows, there's a few cracked windows here. Right, future me here. I'm just going to cut in and interject at this point. I just want to let you know, I nearly didn't put this video out because of these windows. There are in fact three broken windows on this caravan in a variety of states. You'll see another one in a minute. But this morning I've had a change of heart. I thought to myself, let's see how easy it is to find a replacement window for this caravan. I mean, it's a 2002 model, it's not new. Let's see how easy it is to go and find a replacement window. Well, within 15 minutes, I found brand new windows. It's from a company called Exhaust Ejector Co, or EECO for short. They are brand new windows, made to the original specifications that the manufacturer made all those years back. In fact, some of the reviews are saying that the replacement windows are in fact better than the originals. So how much do you think the replacement window, the centre window, would be for this caravan? I'll just let you ponder that for a moment as I find the price out myself. Well the price, including postage and packing, but plus the VAT, is £354. Now all you even need to do is take that window off, send it over to EECO, they'll make sure that they colour match it to make sure it fits in with the other windows, and they'll manufacture a brand new window with a warranty. Now if that's too much money, well don't worry, they also offer other facilities as well. I'm going to put a link to their website down below, but they do offer a rebonding service as well so that they can put your window back together that may be something of interest to you. Their website is fantastic, by the way, that gives all the information, gives you a history. So if you are in the need for new caravan windows, give these guys a call because they can make you brand new windows or at least have an attempt at repairing your current window. Anyway, back to me yesterday. The awning rails look good. They look nice and tidy. They don't look like they're blown or they look like they're coming away. The sides of the caravan are straight, no signs of dings, dents, pings, etc. So check out the GRP at the back here, see if we've got any cracks or any issues at all. No issue up there. 
and there's a problem with the window here but it looks like that's been repaired so if that's been repaired i wonder if the front window could be repaired interesting looking further down no cracks or dings anywhere looks like this one was supplied by michael jordan that's obviously where it came from brand new but it looks like it's a previous customer from here so supplied by swindon so it looks like this one's a local caravan let's check the grab handles they're nice and smooth they usually go a bit funny as well they just could do with a really good clean the lenses nice and clean no cracks okay and i've just noticed this thing's got a motor mover looks like a, uh, a classic power touch classic maybe again the guttering and the warning rail is nice and clean windows are okay the caravan is dead flat as you'd expect a locker there at the back generally just looks like it needs a really really good deep clean and then I think this thing would be absolutely spotless some of the decals look like they're coming away anyway let's have a look inside okay so let's have a look around this is obviously a two berth caravan as it's seen before and we can see we've got a kitchen here at the side um, we've got ourselves a four burner hob all gas a separate grill and oven and it looks like there's a place on the floor there for pots and pans fridge which looks like it can be operated on electric battery and gas nice glass top there it looks like this the tap has uh, seen better days though doesn't it looks like that was just being snapped off probably by the uh, the glass lid okay. past history we used to have a sink similar sort of shape to this which was sunk in i know that that was a, a pain for um prepping anything especially when you had the glass lid open there was a bit of a problem if you wanted to prep any vegetables or anything however on this side there's a little table area which you could use to prep um, bits and bobs you could use that to uh, put food or dish up etc um it's a 12 volt outlet there old style 12 volt outlet and a tv coax so this is a good place to put the tv switch there i don't know what that does yeah well the color scheme is this greenish color it was very popular back in the uh, back in the day we've got a wine cupboard good enough to stuck bottles of wine or tall cups or glasses and it looks like we've got some stem holders out the back there for wine glasses and a glass shelf there to stick bits and bobs on top as well looks like there's a light in there as well I'll look at lights a bit more in a minute uh, speaker so that means there'll be a radio around here somewhere tv connections there looks like the amplifier has been taken out so an amplifier will be needed here okay lots of overhead locker storage something that all caravans nowadays seem to be missing and that's a clock and this one's ticking away there and obviously there's an alarm here as well there's a pir sensor at the top there now talk about lights um i would imagine that all the lights are halogen there wouldn't be led but that's a really easy thing to upgrade all the lights and look i found the radio cassette that's in there as well so that's uh the front's taken off i imagine that's in the office at the moment lots of storage very nice so um how does it smell well it doesn't smell musty it doesn't smell like there's been a smoker in here it smells clean it's nice it's it smells clean actually it does smell clean i've just noticed the air vents down there that means it's blown air heating which isn't a problem that's very good okay so there's a thetford toilet over on the side there that will be an older style i imagine the shower looks clean although the sealant starting to change color a little bit um it's a bit like at home you know when your grout 
uh, changes colour in your bathroom and you have to just regrout everything. But it looks clean, there are no cracks, there's no issues here, it doesn't look like anything is broken. Um, the shower is in good condition. Lots of place to store things here. This could do with a wipe down because it looks a bit dusty back here. But nothing that, you know, a good day cleaning a newly purchased caravan wouldn't do. Huge wardrobe space. Lots of storage. And there's drawers underneath here as well. Let's have a look down the van then. Above the door on the way out, there's all the gauges and all the meters that you would possibly need, like you would get in any modern van now. This one even comes with a smoke alarm and a fire extinguisher. I'm not sure how in date the fire extinguisher would be though. Let's have a look at some of the roof lights. We've got a huge hakey roof light there at the front there, which is letting in loads of light. Above the kitchen, we've got an omni vent, which can be used as an extractor or a fan to bring air in or take smells out so i've just been sat in this caravan for about 10 minutes i've been looking around here thinking of all the things i would change what i would do you know some projects etc and okay there's a couple of things i would do i would change the the lights here to spotlights i change the overheads to leds maybe the upholstery could be recovered maybe some throws put over it because it does look a bit sun faded but other than that there isn't an awful lot more to do to this caravan this caravan has everything that you would possibly need. Um, you would probably need to put an amplifier back into it for the TV. The tap would need to be replaced, but I mean, that would be something that you would do when you buy this one anyway. I think this is a gorgeous little caravan. For a two berth caravan, it's absolutely fantastic. I'm sat in this sofa, by the way, and it feels so comfortable. There's no smells in here. It doesn't smell damp. It doesn't look like there's any damp anywhere. It just doesn't seem like there's anything wrong with it it feels very comfortable and what's so nice and what really really pushes it for me is that it's a cold day i'm sat with the sun's just come out and it's just coming through this window behind me i'm feeling nice and warm here and comfortable i must say this is a gorgeous little caravan and i'm amazed that i found this one for 1005 pounds cheaper than my theoretical five grand budget so in my next video, I'm going to look for something a little bit more expensive. I'm going to look for something which is under £10,000, but suitable for a family of four. And uh, I'm going to look around for those caravans in the next episode. So stay tuned for that one. So that's it from me today. Thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe to our channel, hit the notification icons, and I hope this video has been useful for you. If you've got any comments or questions, you know, put them in the comments down below. And I'll be more than happy to try and help you. So thanks for watching guys, we'll see you very soon. Take care now, bye bye. Hi, and welcome to Run The Robsons. Here is what we do as a family of five. So visit our channel and subscribe and we look forward to bringing you with our family